Hello, I'm Kenny East. Um, my topic is uh, NOR versus fire cremation. Um, what's NOR? Well, NOR is a natural organic reduction. Um, a cruder way of saying it is human composting. Currently, it is legal in um, Colorado and in Washington State. Uh, mainly practiced or pushed into legalization by a company called Recompose out of Seattle. Um, but there are licensed people in each state outside of those company to, uh, to perform the, the disposition. So what is natural organic reduction? Um, you take uh, anywhere from 30 days to 90 days. You put the body in a vessel, like a stainless steel container or a wooden vessel that's lined with something to, to keep the liquids inside. Um, put a body in there with some like wood chips or grass clippings or something. And uh, you aerate it, so you usually spin the vessel. And then, you know, these microbes that are naturally occurring on our body, uh, they go into action and then they start to eat apart, you know, everything. So, so you're creating compost. Um, it gets so hot, it kills pathogens and bacteria. Um, and then by the end of it, the, uh, the soil or, you know, remains are indistinguishable um, by a cadaver sniffing dog. Uh, so we know what fire cremation is. You know, you put the body in a retort, it gets really hot. You're left with the, uh, the cremated remains, which are usually bone fragments. Those are then pulverized. Um, and then given back to the family or scattered or something like that. Um, key points about natural organic reduction is it uses less energy. So you're not, you know, pumping that, you know, SUV worth of gasoline or fuel into the uh, machine to create the heat. Um, you're not, uh, you're, you're doing a lot of stuff there. Um, so NOR uses less energy, uh, creates a laying in ceremony. So instead of a, uh, graveside burial, you get a moment where the body is laid into the vessel, the uh, the wood chips, the alfalfa sprouts, uh, the, the grass clippings are placed on there. Um, this can all be done ceremoniously, the same as any other funeral or disposition. Um, it takes about 30 to 90 days. Um, you could use, you know, local wood chips or grass clippings, you know, to keep it all within the local ecosystem. Um, it's a unique form of disposition. So generally people have, um, you could donate your body to science. You could be buried or you could be cremated. And then now in a few states, you can be turned into NOR, which is naturally, um, natural organic reduction. Uh, that's cool. Uh, how does it work? Um, you know, microbes break down the organic material into soil. Wood chips balance out the carbon and the nitrogen. Uh, you could put the body in the vessel um, ceremoniously. Uh, body's covered with wood chips, alfalfa sprouts, and then it's aerated. Usually that's done by, you know, just rolling the vessel around. Um, over time, the uh, microbes break down everything. Uh, heat, some of the places use uh, hot water. They'll add hot water to the mix. Um, so every now and then to, you know, keep the temperature up to state levels or, you know, to bring up the temperature to a state required level. Um, so at the beginning, you start out with three cubic feet of, um, what is it called? Of plant material, like wood chips and, um, you know, like grass clippings. Um, and then by the end of it, you're left with about one cubic feet of, you know, the soil or the compost. Now you could give the whole fam you could give the whole thing to the family and they could come in, you know, with wheelbarrows and wheel it out into the back of a truck or use it in a garden, or you could give them just like one little pot's worth or, you know, a gallon's worth or as much as they want. Um, whatever's left over could be put in like a nature reserve uh, to use to rebuild the soil. Um, the soil is legally treated the same as cremated remains. Um, so same rules apply to uh, cremation pros and cons. So pros are fast, you know, cremation less than four hours usually. Uh, inexpensive, uh, convenient. You can order a cremation online most of the time. Uh, cremation is legal in all 50 states. Uh, cremated remains may be brought home, the same as nor. Um, 
body can be embalmed. You can put it in a cremated container or, you know, a casket that can be cremated. Some of the cons are um, releases mercury into the atmosphere. Uh, dental fillings release mercury. Um, it, it uses a lot, it creates a lot of carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, which, uh, you know, contributes to, you know, climate change or could enable catastrophic climate change. Um, parts and maintenance rebuild costs on a retort are expensive. You have to have specialized maintenance, uh, right now with the shipping problems. Um, you know, it can be hard to get motors in or parts in. Um, and also the UV radiation that comes out of the machine can actually cause cancer to form in the crematory operator's face. Uh, so NOR, pros and cons. It's a creative form of disposition, so you get the extra option, especially, you know, people that want to leave a smaller green footprint. Um, you create the soil when you do NOR. Uh, you have that laying in ceremony, which is unique and can be specialized. Um, the mercury that's in people's feelings is sequestered into the soil, so it's not uh, incinerated and put into the atmosphere, which is a more volatile form of mercury. Um, so you could uh, scatter the the soil. You could use it in your garden. You know, you could literally like turn Grandpa into that tree. Uh, minimize need for specialized equipment is essentially you know you can get as fancy as you want with the vessel that you put the body in, but essentially you know simple wood stuff and hot water is all you need. Um, takes longer than cremation is one of the cons though. Uh, so you're looking at like a month to a couple of months. Um, not legal in every state. Uh, so, you know, we're limited on availability. Uh, your body can't be embalmed whenever you do the, the NOR process. Um, and uh, it's not very profitable. So I've talked to this about the, I've talked with the owner of the business I work for about, you know, human composting and uh, particularly water cremation. And he just said it wasn't profitable because of the amount of time. So I imagine months isn't going to be seen as a very profitable venture. So those that try to, you know, capitalize on everything in life aren't, aren't going to be drawn to it. Uh, here's a picture from the Recompose website. It's a laying in ceremony, uh, kind of like a fictional version of it, though. But you can see everybody's sitting in a circle. The body is in the vessel. They're putting the, the chips on um, or the wood sprouts. Or you could use, like, grass from their yard, you know, something special. Um, and it, it, it's, a, it's a new form, you know, of ceremony. Uh, here's some of the references, so so I hope you all enjoyed my my little talk about this, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.